Hello everyone, Mark the Statman Skevich, Real Fans Real Talk, alongside Trip Young and Matt O'Connor, and this is a very special uh, March Madness Sweet 16 edition of Real Fans Real Talk. We have our special guest, Matt O'Connor from uh, Manhattan College, uh, joining us with his uh, college expertise. Now, your, your alma mater is not in the big dance, but could you tell us what it was like uh, when Manhattan College, the local team, your your college was in the big dance? Well, they made it the last two years, and the uh, first year I was a senior at Manhattan, uh, and that was the first time they had made it in over 10 years. So, I mean, the place went crazy right away. Uh, we even stormed the court one of the nights when they had won the MAC conference to make clinch the tournament. And then, as you said, it's a small school, but being a New York school uh, where college basketball really isn't big, there's not a true New York City college basketball team, it was extremely exciting. And that year, they had hung tough with Louisville that, that game, but in the end lost. And then last year, they made it again, but had a play-in game and lost to Hampton, who then went on to be destroyed by Kentucky. So maybe losing to Hampton saved us a bit, but... Uh, you know, being a part of that and seeing it firsthand, especially as a senior doing it, was uh, really something special. Now, the local teams here, Stony Brook, Iona, of course, Syracuse is kind of the local team, even though they're up north. But do you think any of the small local teams, we had uh, LIU, the Brooklyn, right across the street from here made it, uh, you know, before. Do you think any of those teams will ever advance, to even the Sweet 16? I think there's chance. I mean, in the tournament, there's always that upset that something happened where somebody like Manhattan or if Iona get a better seed, they're a team that just scores a lot, that if they got lucky one night, they could be able to pull off a win. Uh, you would expect a school like Hofstra that has a lot of money in their basketball program, beautiful facilities, to be able to recruit better, to get in the tournament more consistently. Um, who knows what's going to happen with St. John's, there, where if they can get really built back up to where they used to be. but. I would like to see New York City have a true presence in the tournament and college basketball. So, uh, fingers crossed, but I do think it's still possible. Long, long we time ago. But Syracuse, a little bit of a shocker as far as they're going. Uh, how, how far do you think um, they go? They're playing Gonzaga in the Sweet 16. Will the buck stop here, or what do you think? Uh, I think so. I mean, in my bracket, I didn't have them making it this far anyway, but uh, they're going up against Gonzaga, who has a lot of size. Uh, Syracuse really lacks in that area, but uh, I mean, Syracuse fans should be proud. I think they're playing with a chip on their shoulder that they had the academic scandal last year, and they, they themselves banned themselves from the tournament. So to come back this year and surprise people where many people didn't think they'd even get in, and they didn't win two games, maybe more, I, th I think they're already pretty proud of their season. So. I would like to support uh, Gonzaga, but every time I think of the Zags, I keep going back to Adam Morris and crying on that court at the end of the game, and I just can't support them, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't know, man. <laughs> what are you going to do, though? All right, big upset. You know, Syracuse, I think the brackets would have worked out that they would have played Michigan State eventually if Michigan State didn't get uh, knocked out in the first round. Um Huge shocker there. Um, I mean, what do you make of uh, Michigan State? I mean, the last 10 years, everyone talks about how great Tom Izzo is, but the last 10 years they haven't even made the Final Four, I don't believe. So, I mean, is Tom Izzo really that good? Or, like, what What do you think? I mean, people are already calling it the biggest upset in the tournament history. It's the eighth time that a 15 seed has beat a two. Uh, I think it is the biggest upset like that, that it's Tom Izzo and Michigan State losing, that it's not just a regular two seed that comes and goes where, I mean, Tom Izzo was on that streak that uh, for his first, I think it was 10 or even more years, every senior class he had had played in at least one Final Four, and the last few years he really hasn't been able to get back there as consistently. So, I mean, I'm still a big Tom Izzo fan. I can't go, go against him. I'll, I'll probably pick them again to make a run next year, but uh, very disappointed, I'm sure, that ruined pretty much everyone's bracket this year. So yeah, I, I would have to agree with you on that one. Who, who do you think is the best coach in college basketball right now? Uh, maybe Tom Izzo, but uh, I'm a huge Tony Bennett at Virginia fan. Love him. That He, he never really gets an All-American recruiting-wise, yet he's always a very high seed, uh, very competitive in the ACC, and it's a real defensive squad where – he goes out there and just just outplays other teams at their games and just knows yeah. how to win. So you know, no, no love for my guy, Coach K. 
No, I'm, I I really can't root for Duke. I mean, well, I'm not I'm not rooting for Duke, but I'm just saying. But you don't think he's he's up there? Oh, he's, he's definitely up there. Oh, okay, I, all right. I mean, you just got a little hatred for Duke. Yeah, and I mean, oh, okay, he's, he's paid he's paid up there okay. as well, so he deserves it. I mean, listen, he is one of the most winningest coaches in college oh, basketball, Olympic gold medals. So I mean, he's definitely worth the money. I have my finals actually, Duke, North Carolina, and it can work out that way, and that is a huge rivalry to begin with. So. If that were to happen, that would be uh, that would be huge. I, I have North Carolina winning it all in my bracket. Uh, so not, Ingram and uh, and uh, was it Glenn? They're playing great right now. I think it's the the first uh, teammates to score twenty plus uh, points a game in uh, in a tournament. So if they do meet up with North Carolina, I think they they they're one and one on the season, right? They beat uh, Duke one at home and North Carolina one at home. So it definitely would be a great match. Plus the whole rivalry the whole, there, yeah, if they could, uh, t t if that actually happened with the brackets, then that so would be great. Who do, who do you think? Um, who's your pick to win it all, Matt? Well, originally I had picked Oregon to win it, and of the remaining teams, they're the only ones I picked that still has a chance to make to the Final Four. The rest of my Final Four teams have been eliminated. So, just kind of for my own pride of my picking my bracket, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Oregon. You gotta stick with your guns. I like that. I like and that. I would like to see. There's a couple teams still out there that I'd like to see, but I'd like to see maybe Oregon, Virginia, where. They kind of clash different styles, different how they play. So I think that'd be a fun game to see. Now I know you hate on Duke, but do you give Duke any chance of winning tonight? I think so. I, I think it's a very good matchup. I mean, Oregon has a little more size to match up where Duke has a lot of size, but they really haven't seen that this tournament. Yeah. But uh, I mean, if Ingram gets going, if if the three is falling, if Grayson Allen can get out and run, then I think Duke can pretty much beat anybody in the country if if things are going right for him. What do you think about Plumlee? There's times where I've, I've really been disappointed at him, but he seems to have just more heart than anyone where when you really need a play or something big to happen, he's always right there at the center of it. And the fact that he's leaving school up to this year to join the Army, he's kind of playing for his team and just yeah. shows what he, what he can do. And he's become a fun guy to watch all tournament. All right, Villanova advancing over Miami, and it looks like Oklahoma is going to wrap things up as well. So those are the... First two teams to advance to the lead eight. Your official pick is Oregon, or who you'd like to see win? Who, who's your official pick? <laughs> uh, that's a, I mean, Oregon's maybe the team I'd like to see win. I, if uh, w After those scores, I, I would have to say I think Oklahoma's going to win it. I've become a big Buddy Heald fan, uh, a senior that just seems to outscore everybody. Where uh, So I think they're the team. They're, that's the favorite I'm going to pick to advance to the end now. How, how, how do your brackets usually wind up looking? Once the tournament is done, and are you one of those that does four brackets? And <laughs> no, the best no, no, one, no. I, the best I only ever do one <laughs> bracket. Uh, this normally I do okay. This year I tried to pick the upsets and just Maybe. really hit, just <laughs> missed <laughs> on all of them. Uh, I had a couple 11 and 12 seeds going this far, but it, they're yeah. not the ones I picked, so I was wrong on that. So I mean, normally if if I try to do that, try to pick the upsets, I, I don't do well yeah. towards the end. But uh, each year is different, so. Well, last question before we wrap things up uh, until next week's edition. The one seed losing to the 16 seed, do you think we'll see that happen in the next 10 years or ever? Uh, I think definitely at some point in our lives we will see it. 10 years, I don't know, but as c smaller schools continue to get better and, and the upsets become bigger and bigger, I think one day a, a lucky shot, a lucky break will happen and a 16 seed will, will win a game. All right, that does it for us on this special edition of March Madness, Real Fans, Real Talk. Matt O'Connor, our special guest from Manhattan College. Uh, Trip Young, of course. Myself, Mark the Statman Skevich. Thank you for all for joining us, and we'll see you on the Final Four edition of uh, Real Fans, Real Talk, March Madness. <laughs>